Shalom, brothers and sisters. So today specifically, on Father's Day for most of the world, I want to do just sit and reflect on some important things that God, our Father, has done for us. Just one or two points that I want to point out to you. Um, if we look at Ephesians 2, 11 to 13, it speaks of us once afar off, brought near, not by our works, not by anything great of us, but by the blood of Christ. That is why we were brought near. Romans eleven seventeen, We have become partakers of the root and the fatness of the olive tree. The olive tree representative of Israel and her promises here. The root is God. The richness of everything he has to offer us in his word and in who he is. That richness and fatness, we have become partakers of that by being grafted in with them. And then we speak of adoption. Galatians 4 verse 5 and Romans 8 15. Adoption in the Jewish world was not common. And Jesus liked to turn things on their heads. So when he was there, he upset a lot of the Jews by turning things around on them. And this is one of those things. In the Roman world, adoption was common. And the interesting thing is, a father in the Roman world at that time could disown his natural son, no problem. But adoption was irreversible no matter what, because you chose that person. You made a decision to take that one as your child. No longer slaves, but sons. We are sons of the Most High. And don't worry, ladies, we're all going to be the bride of Christ. He chose us, our Father God, the creator of all things. And that is the important thing I want to leave with you today. We were adopted. We were grafted in. We have become part of everything and partakers of his goodness, his richness, his glory, his everything. Glory is his, but we have become partakers with him in everything else. And he is the King of Kings coming to fetch his bride soon. And I, for one, cannot wait. And on a day like today, I specifically can't wait, besides my assertion that they're going to have to pry me off Jesus with a crowbar to drag me to the naughty corner, I get to see my dad again, who was an absolute great man of God, an example for me, and he's waiting for me on the other side. And, and I miss him. I've done those calculations. I know how long he's been up there converting that time to our time because there's a difference in heaven time and earth time. I've even done those calculations. And I can't wait to catch up with him on that side. And so all of us too, and now I'm speaking to the men, continue to be strong examples of what's right. Continue speaking God and scripture and the word and living your faith for your children, especially for a time such as this, in darkness such as this, that we may shine a light for our children to follow and to live towards. Be the husband your wife needs to be. Be the brother your brother needs you to be. Be the father that you need to be. And keep seeking father god's face in everything you do and in all decisions you make and soon we will be with abba father have an amazing day god bless and shalom